Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see PN Junction Diode. It's working, how we are going to bias the device and IV characteristics. Basically, PN Junction Diode will be consisting of P-type silicon and N-type silicon. We are going to connect together. So, we will be having a P region and N region connected together like this. Then forms the junction. We call it as junction. Wherever the P and N regions are going to be connected like this, we call it as a junction. So, one end of P silicon or P type region will be called as anode. The other end of N type silicon will be called as cathode. So, these two ends will be act as two electrodes. This is one electrode, this is another electrode. So, because of two electrodes, this device is going to possess, we call it as diode. Di means two, here ODE representing the electrodes. The symbolic representation of this diode is like this. It is a triangle with a line. This line indicating a junction and triangle indicating the direction of current flow. This triangle is heading towards the cathode from anode. So, the current flow will be from anode to cathode and it is in only one direction. And in practically if you see diodes, the diodes will look like this. Here one end will be a silver region, the other end will be a black region. Here the black region will be P region and this silver region will be an N region. So this will be an cathode and this will be an anode. And if you look at the current flow, we need to make the diode working by connecting the external supply. So this is the external voltage we are applying. When we are going to apply the positive terminal of the battery to anode and negative terminal of the battery to cathode, then it becomes forward bias connection. Similarly, the negative terminal of the supply is connected to anode and positive terminal of the supply is connected to cathode, this becomes reverse bias condition. In the forward bias condition, the current will flow from anode to cathode and diode conducts. We say diode conducts only in one direction from anode to cathode. So here I have shown this is a diode and this is the direction of current flow. And when we are connecting in the reverse bias condition, negative terminal is connected to anode and positive terminal of the supply is connected to cathode, diode will not conduct. So there is no current flow from cathode to anode. There is no current. So we say diode will conduct only in one direction. That's why the symbol is indicating with a triangle. This is about the current flow. Coming to the biasing of PN junction diode. Initially, when there is no bias, when there is no bias means no external voltage is given to the diode. What happens? There is a PN junction like this. Here in the P-type silicon, as we know, in P-type silicon, the majority of holes are there, free holes are there. In N region, majority of electrons are there. When we are going to connect these two together like this, electrons are negatively charged and holes are positively charged, they recombine. You can see in this diagram, this is the N region where the red dots indicating free electrons. Similarly, in the P region, white marks indicating the free holes. You can see here, electrons are penetrated towards the P region and there is a formation of depletion region here. So this depletion region will be having a voltage. Towards N region, there is a positive voltage. Towards P region, there is a negative voltage. We also call it as a barrier. So once the recombination happens, this region, this barrier will not allow extra electrons to penetrate towards the P region. That's why this will be called as a junction potential or the barrier potential. Positive voltage will be appear towards N region. Negative voltage appear towards P region. These ions will not allow the extra electrons to penetrate towards P region. So you can see here also in this diagram, these are positively charged holes in the P region, negatively charged electrons in the N region. They are recombined and forming a depletion region here. This is the direction of electric field and these are immobile ions once they are recombined and settled over here. And this constitutes a voltage negative over here and positive over here. This will be called as barrier potential that is Vj. This Vj is 0.6 to 2.7 in silicon diodes and it is 0.2 to 0.3 volts in germanium diodes. 
there are two types of diodes we can have silicon and germanium this voltage barrier potential or junction voltage will be 0.7 or 0.6 in silicon diodes and 0.2 or 0.3 in germanium diodes now if we bias the diode what happens it will allow the extra electrons to penetrate towards the p region let us see the forward bias condition of this pn junction diode what happens when the forward bias condition the voltage applied to the junction will be like this positive terminal of the voltage or the supply is connected to the anode negative terminal of the supply is connected to the cathode as we know this n region will be having majority of electrons which are negatively charged this p region will be having majority of holes which are positively charged when we are going to connect this positive terminal to the positively charged holes this holes are repelled from this positive terminal of the battery similarly the electrons are negatively charged once we connect negative terminal of the battery to this this will repel so no electrons will come in this direction electrons will penetrate towards the p region you can see here these are the electrons going towards the p region and similarly we can also say holes will penetrate towards the n region usually electrons will penetrate towards the hole region that is p region that constitutes electron current this is the electron moment you can see here in this direction but the conventional current flow what we say if the electrons are flowing in this direction current flow we are going to consider in this direction that's why current flow will be in this direction current flow will be from negative terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the battery from positive terminal of the battery to the p region and then this will be the direction of current flow again it will reaches to the negative terminal of the battery so the question is here i said there is a barrier potential or the junction potential that is vj which is minus plus like this so we need to apply minimum amount of voltage over here so that the extra electrons will be penetrate towards the p region this extra voltage itself should be greater than this vj that's why in silicon uh, diode we say minimum 0.7 volts and more than that we need to apply as a external voltage to make the diode conducts then what happens the barrier potential over here or the barrier in between the two junction becomes thinner and thinner so barrier reduces as we apply the voltage above 0.7 volts barrier reduces and electrons flow will be started you can see here in the iv characteristics in y axis we will be having current if which is in milliamps in x axis we have vf that is in volts we started to apply from zero since it reaches some cut in voltage that is v gamma called as the cut in voltage why because minimum amount of external voltage we need to apply for diode to start conduct why because this amount of voltage is required to reduce the barrier present over here in the depletion region or in the junction that's why this vr or the cutting voltage is 0.7 volts for silicon and 0.3 volts for germanium after this 0.7 volts region or the voltage current will be started to increase as voltage increases and also you can see here this is the difference in the voltage from this point to this point and there is a increase in the current which is delta if so this is what the forward characteristics of the diode connected in forward biased condition and current will be directly proportional to the voltage what we are going to apply and what happens when we are going to connect the diode in reverse biased fashion reverse bias in the sense the anode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery or negative terminal of the source and cathode is connected to positive terminal of the source here this n region will be having negatively charged electrons these electrons attract towards the battery since it is positively charged similarly p region consist of positively charged holes holes are attracted towards the negative terminal of the battery that's why the barrier increases you can see here this is the depletion region or this is the junction potential here junction potential is increased or the barrier increase since the barrier is wider there is no current flowing into the diode that's why we say the direction of reverse current is this and it is very less so very very less amount of current flow in the 
reverse by acid pn junction and we say there is no current flow also no current flow means it is a very very less current so we are going to represent the reverse current ir in microamps and we are going to represent the forward current in milliamps now if you look at the iv characteristics again this is if this is ir the reverse current you can see here representation in minus so as we increase the reverse voltage vr there is a very small amount of current flow and it is constant even if we increase vr further reverse voltage and this small amount of current flow will be in microamps and it will be constant till this point after this point if we further increase the reverse voltage what happens diode reaches the reverse breakdown voltage there might be a chance of breakdown of diode and here the sharp increase in the current you can see sharp increase in the current is shown over here this will be called as knee point knee point in the sense whenever there is a exponential increase we call it as a knee so from breakdown voltage onwards if you further increase the reverse voltage diode current will be increased sharply and there might be a chance of breakdown in the diode and this is the complete iv characteristics this is the reverse characteristics you can see this is the forward characteristics you can see here if will be represented in milliamps and ir is represented in microamps and this will be called as the cut in voltage it is 0.7 for silicon and 0.3 for germanium and this is vf you can also see here this is also called as knee point this is also called as knee point when there is abruptly change in the current we call it as a knee point and here also at the reverse breakdown voltage we need to observe vbr and this is the small reverse current this reverse current will be because of the minority carriers in the diode and this is also the iv characteristics you can see here clearly this is the knee point this is forward bias characteristics and this is the reverse bias characteristics this is about the pn junction diode in the next videos let us see the application of pn junction diodes also thank you